My husband is active duty military and I have three children. We have two little kids, Maya and Maxwell. Maya is about to turn three. Maxwell is eight months. So I've got um, a three-year-old daughter, Ava. I've got a nine-year-old, uh, Ariana. I typically help my son with his homework on a daily basis. Every time they're in the car before we back out, seatbelts on. I constantly give her affirmations about how wonderful she is. I tell my kids I love them every moment. I'm very involved in their lives. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you some different questions. Do you know the statistics of child sexual abuse in America? No, I don't. No, I do not. I don't think that we've actually sat down and talked about warning signs or what questions to ask or what conversation to have. No, I've really never had any conversations with the schools on what their policies are about sexual abuse. Do they run background checks? I didn't check. I would assume all schools do. That's such a good question. No, I don't know. That's scary. They mustn't because they had me as a volunteer, so they didn't do a background check on me. I honestly am ashamed to say this, but I don't know what the screening process is, and I actually just trust. I've never run a background check, no. I feel like the worst mom. Why do you think parents don't have these conversations? I don't think that it'll happen to my kids because I'm really involved in their lives. Nobody wants to think that a predator would be in their immediate circle. Maybe they feel if they don't bring something up, then it won't happen. It's fear. You know, as a parent, you just, you just don't want to believe it. So I'd like to introduce you to someone. I'm Emily, so nice to meet you. I'm Joelle, nice Hi. to meet you too. Hi, Michelle. Hey. Nice to meet you, I'm Jamie. You have a son that's seven. So when I was seven um, was the first time I was sexually abused. When I was a young teenager, I was sexually abused by the choir director at my high school. And he sexually abused me over a course of two years. It happened again when I was 10 with somebody else for several years, under the watch of two parents who were all over me and loved me. Thank you for sharing that with me. It's just, <sighs> when you share your story, it just makes it so real. And to think that this is happening to so many and to think that it happened to you is just wrong in every single level. Obviously, no parent wants to think that they're putting their child in harm's way. I always want to do my best, and it kind of makes me feel like I haven't. The only way to be better is to have the conversations. Be open. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> and, um, and the fact that you're feeling that obviously shows the extent that you love your children. So some of the ways maybe that we can like just be diligent is to be aware. Have I ever asked my school what their protocol is? And there's this nonprofit organization called Child Safety Pledge. And they are a tremendous resource for anyone who wants to ask the tough questions. As a parent, I pledge to do everything in my power to keep my children safe. I pledge to shatter the silence on child sexual abuse and shine light on our ability to prevent this tragedy from happening so frequently in our society. I pledge to ask the tough questions and help create an environment of transparency, accountability, and safety in our youth serving organizations. I will sign this pledge, yeah. Absolutely, I will. I'm gonna go home, talk to my wife, and have her sign this pledge. Appreciate you, bro. Well, Thanks for sharing, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.